imagine things. I suppose I'm a wee bit nervous. Well, you needn't be. You've nothing to be frightened of. So this is it. No, it isn't. How did you get here? I came straight here to you, to this. Oh, but you mustn't think. Don't say anything. How long have you been here? Long enough, but I shan't stay long. I'm going away again tomorrow morning. Oh, so you're going too. There won't be any women left in the house soon, and a dash good job. I'd never have thought this of you. Even when I did think it in Monte Carlo, I, I didn't. Thank you. Well, you'd better stop thinking nonsense and go back to your room. And leave you two here, not likely. You won't leave me here, because if you don't go back to your room, I'll take you there myself. Get away from me. Now, listen, Pat. I'm glad you've chucked all that and came back here. And if you'll only simmer down and behave yourself, everything will be all right. Behave myself? I like that from you. All right, then. No, please don't. Please don't. Quiet. There. Now stay there and think this out. Didn't I tell you all along that after the trial the town would go crazy and try to lynch that girl? Well, good luck to the town, I say. I only brought her here for her safety. Safety? In my best spare room, my best spare pajamas. Like hell she's safe from you. Oh, have some sense, can't you? I'm quite prepared to be nice to you. All right, go on, work it off. There's a bed in my dressing room. I'll sleep there, though it isn't as comfortable a bed as this one. Pity. If I'd thought of it, I'd have dumped you in the dressing room. 